nothing that people love more than intros that have nothing to do with the overall content of the video. Which is why today I'm going to show you guys a, a, a clever card trick here that will no doubt be the talk of the, the town today. Um, so for this, uh, the, I'm, going to, I'm going to be using these, these tycoon playing cards that have no doubt caused a hole in my pocket, much like in the pockets of many magicians, many much magicians in the uh, ionosphere. So we have a, we have a deck here. The, these cards are, are mixed and shuffled uh, to, to whatever content you so desire. But ultimately, you turn to a, uh, a participant and you ask them, uh, Sir, uh, when was the last time you were penetrated? Oh, um, well, the reason I ask is because I'm going to try to uh, get inside of you and tr try to meddle inside of you with this card trick. So do me a favor and cut the packet anywhere you want in, uh, in, in two about similar packets here. They do that, of course. And then you ask, sir, how, how is your memory? How is, how is your memory since, since the accident? Well, it's good. It's good. All right. Uh, well, in that case, I'm going to have you not only remember a card, but also a, uh, a position. So I'm going to show you these cards. And not only do I want you to remember the actual card, I want you to actually remember the position of the card as well. Are you capable of that? Yeah. Okay. F fantastic. So this would be one. This would be two. This would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, right here. So we have these uh, ten cards here, sir. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, how about you uh, take any card from here, to, to, and don't just push it towards me. So they push out a card towards you, and you go, "That's uh, that's a great choice, sir. Do you want to change your mind?" Uh, of course you do. You, 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 you. Fucking cunt. Um, all right, there you go. So I take this card and I put it in my back pocket, ready to be uh, pumped. So you asked the, the, the sir what number of card they were thinking of. Uh, let's say they were thinking of the number five. So you go, that's uh, that's good. So let me, let's just get the fifth card here. That's two, that's three, that's four. And that's five, your card right there, the card you were thinking of. Sir, for the first time, what was the card you were thinking of? And the spectator would say, the, uh, the, the three of hearts, sir, was the card that I was thinking of. You go, that's good. Uh, that's not this card. That's the ace of spades because the um, three of hearts is actually the card in my pocket. It's the card in my po pocket, sir. Um, so let me ask you, how does it feel for me to be inside of you right now, on a scale of one to orgasm, and that's the trick. Uh, that's the that's the that's the hot trick uh, here. So you you could uh, this is kind of one one of those anytime anywhere. This is an old old uh, tar bell trick from my my vast understanding here. So uh, this trick is you could do it with a, a, a deck that your grandmother has passed down. Uh, the only thing is that you are left with a, a card in your pocket. So you could do whatever trick requires that because that's how you're gonna uh, end up left here. So you have the, uh, the cards shuffled and mixed, uh, hopefully by someone with uh, the capacity to do so in a way that's not gonna bend these very expensive uh, Theory 11 cards. So they cut the cards in two halves. And then what you do is you're going to take whichever half they want. Uh, I didn't make that clear in the performance here because there's actually nobody here with me, much like uh, in, in life. So you uh, have the participant pick a half here that you're going to use. And let's say they pick up this one. What you're going to do is you're going to secure a break below uh, the second card from the face here in preparation for a push off here. Uh, now, if you could do the push off without having that break, then by all means do it, cunts, but I can't because I am not a, uh, um, so you're going to do that. Uh, now the way I did it, I, I just dribbled the cards, held back two, and then I'm ready for the break. You could uh, do whatever push off you want, but ultimately you get a, a pinky break right there below the second card from the face here. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your 
father's favorite finger here to push these two cards as one into the right hand. Of course, keeping them square. If, if, you, if they're not square, then you're doing it wrong here because they're going to see that and laugh. So you push off two cards as one. They go in your right hand. And you have the spectator uh, remember either, of course, if you're going to tell them to remember the, the position and the card itself. So this would be one, two, three. You go the speed depending on the intelligence level of the spectator. So if you feel that they require extra time, you go extra slow here. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you ask them if they not only remember the card, but also the position. So let's say here they remembered uh, the, what they think is the, uh, if they remembered what they think is the fifth card here. So the fifth card, that's one, two, three, four, five. We'll reverse it. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the, uh, that's, it's going to be now the sixth position. That's, that's what, uh, that's what I'm trying to approximate here because you've added one card here. This card is no longer the fifth card, it's the sixth card, which is going to aid in the, uh, the, the little switcheroonie that you're going to do later on. So this goes at the back of the packet here, and you go, so you're thinking of a card here, sir. Uh, do me a favor and push off any card you want here towards me. And they, they push off any card they want towards you. This is going to go in whatever pocket you feel uh, that you could palm to, because you're going to have to do a little bit of a sneaky... A sneaky um, one of these, uh, one of these to your pocket later. So the, this goes in my back pocket here, uh, which I'm going to put off for now. And you say, okay, sir, so you've picked any card and you thought of a, a card here, a number. What's the, for the first time, what is the number? Let's say, of course, they're going to say five unless they have Alzheimer's. So you're going to say one, two, three, four, five right there. They think this is their card, really. Their card is over here, ready to be palmed. How exciting. So they, uh, you put this card in front of them. You go, for the first time, name your card. Of course, as you're doing this, I'm turning this over in preparation to, to do a little bit of a, a count here so I could buckle this card and cop it. So I'm putting these cards and squaring everything up. They name their card. Of course, this is not going to be their card. They're going to be surprised at this point, which gives you ample opportunity to, 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 to cop this. So the, the cop, for those of you that are math mathematically retarded is you get a little bit of a pinky break there. Now you're going to put these cards slightly down and then bring them back up. Of course, holding back this card and putting it in this sort of weird position. So it's held between the middle finger and uh, this kind of a base of the forefinger here. So this is just temporary as your hand reaches towards your pocket to pretend to take this out. So uh, a lot of people are scared of this sort of action here, but I don't think you should be scared. What you should be scared of is terrorism. That's what you should be scared of. But here, this isn't anything to be scared of. So you you just get the card in that position uh, in whatever way you deem possible here. You reach into your back pocket and go, because that's the card that you gave me early on. Um, you gave me that card, sir. And of course, it doesn't, it, it's sort of like a, because how does it make sense? They thought of a card here before this card went in your pocket. So it's just, it's layered, layered impossibility here. So that's, that's a trick. And you're left with a card in your back pocket. So if you know the car, car aisle, card to pocket, you're ready to, you're ready to, to get that sweet, sweet, uh, almond, almond off. So that's the trick. You, you enjoy it. Uh, you, uh, do the, all the things that are necessary and you practice it well. Uh, the palm is very well covered here, so it's not going to be anything that's going to be detected, especially because you have the, uh, the misdirection of that being their card here. So it's, it's a very well covered palm. Don't, don't be afraid of doing this trick. Uh, I, I do all the things. I'm going to drop a hot control on, uh, on Patreon today. Um, uh, a hot, hot, hot one. Um, so hot, your, your grandmother would want to dust it off and sit on it. So uh, I do all the things. I'm going to go wonder how it is that uh, magic on YouTube is mostly cancer. Again, when I see you 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 again.
Shut up, girl.